Yo, welcome back to another video, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, I'm back doing some more battles between bosses. You guys have been really enjoying this stuff I've been doing with Monstrology, so I'm definitely gonna keep grinding Monstrology and getting better bosses. Literally every single video, there's a comment saying something about Malister the Undying, so I have been grinding for that. Just it is super hard to get him, because unlike most of the other bosses, he actually needs 30 Animus. And you guys know, Darkmoor, I mean, it's not the hardest dungeon, but I've been just doing it with like two of my accounts and both of my maxes so i don't have like a full team so it's somewhat difficult to actually get all 30 but with that being said if you do have any suggestions or any bosses you want me to put up against each other just let me know down in the comments below but keep in mind that i do have to be able to get at least one of them with monstrology but today we're going to be putting balok up against balosh and this was actually a suggestion from a comment on my last video so huge thanks to you this is such a cool idea and some of you guys may already know this but Balok and Balosh are actually cousins. So it's gonna be like a battle of the cousins, which I think is super cool. But you guys can see that I have enough to make two summon TCs for both of them. You guys probably know that they have big cheats like the raw cheat, where if you don't hit them, then they'll come back and hit you with a massive raw. So not only am I gonna be putting them up against each other without their cheats, I'm also gonna be putting them up against the opposite with their cheats. So we're gonna see if one of them can get an upset against the other one when they have cheats. And and if you guys don't really do monstrology pretty much if you do make a summon tc of them they don't carry over the cheats so that's why so i went out and got myself some bounce resist gear i have 83 bounce resist and like i said they have that one cheat where they do a raw if you don't hit them and specifically bellox raw it does i think it's around 1400 to 1600 i think that's around the range but bellox's raw cheat isn't actually that powerful his is only like i think 600 to 700 or something around that so i definitely need this gear for the balok fight but i don't know if i'm gonna need it for the balosh but i'll probably still wear it so i'm in the fight now and since i do want it to be a 1v1 obviously i am just gonna use a trident to kill the minion but now you can see this is belloc's cheat you can see it's a raw and because i didn't hit him obviously he's gonna cast it and that's the main reason i need this bounce resist how much does it do i mean 127 obviously that's not bad but that's only because i have 83 bounce resist if i was just running my normal storm resist i would just be dying way too often so now i'm just gonna spawn in balosh my pips aren't really that great because i have this really bad gear on but now that balosh is in i'm gonna use soothe on balok so that he only attacks balosh so yeah i'll just use the mega soothe on balok and then you can see that he still uses his raw cheat because obviously he hasn't got hit yet so i just want to see how much it does on balosh because i'm pretty sure sure he has like 80 bounce resist so it shouldn't do too much yeah only 308 so maybe the cheat won't affect them that much but balosh is actually starting off with a hydra no crit but still 230 per head that's pretty decent because that's like 690 damage but balok is going for a spectral blast that's 550 damage damn and then since balosh didn't go for a hit Balok is just gonna go for another raw cheat and obviously it doesn't seem like much because Balosh does have a lot of resist but I mean every single round that he doesn't hit that 300 damage does like add up see they just keep coming like every single round he doesn't hit there's just another one but now he's going for a spectral blast he also has the vengeance but he doesn't crit still 550 that's nice and now he's gonna go for a hydra that's insane if he gets the crit too that'll do so much and it seems like they know they shouldn't be using balance hits against each other but he didn't even get the crit so 230 per head that's still not bad but like i was saying it's weird that they're not going for balance hits it's like they know that they're going against another balance and then there's just another raw because balosh passed again and now balok is actually going for a sandstorm he did get the crit but I don't think it's doing much. Yeah, 59. It's because he has so much bounce resist. Bro, I've seen Raw way too many times already. And this is only the first fight. It's kind of sad. But now Balosh is going for a sandstorm of his own. It's not going to do anything really. Yeah, 57. Wait, why'd that do more? Because didn't Balok get the crit last time? Yeah, that's kind of weird. But now Balok goes for the supernova. No crit, but it's still... Ah, oh, it's doing nothing really. Because honestly, Balosh has around the same resist that I do. Just a bit less. But now Balosh is finally going for another hit. It is a sandstorm, but he gets the crit. Still nothing. Yeah, 90. That's not really anything, but at least he won't go for a raw next round. But Balok goes for his natural attack. It is balanced though, so like, it's not going to do anything either. 
Yeah, 36. They start off so well going for just a bunch of, like, off-school hits, you know, like, elemental things. But now they're just going for a bunch of balance stuff. I actually don't know how many raws I've seen, but it's too many. It's way too many. The amount of times Belosh has passed is kind of sad, but now he is going for a Spectral Blast. But obviously, before he gets the Spectral Blast off, he has to take another raw because he didn't hit last round. And now the Spectral Blast, it hits ice through the shield, 182. That's just not good. And now, okay, Belok is going for a Spectral Blast of his own 550. That's so nice. And I think I'm just going to let Belok kill me because you guys did tell me in the comments, like a bunch of comments, that I can just die against them. I don't need to stay alive because the battle will still go on if I have a Monstrology minion up. So they're not like regular minions. So I guess I'll just test that out because I'm going to be honest, I don't think Belok has any chance because Belok just keeps taking him down slowly with his raw cheat. So... I feel like there's no chance, but he is going for a raw, which gives him a minus 40. So that's not too bad. But like I said, this raw cheat just keeps chipping him down so much. It's 300 every single time he just passes or doesn't go for a hit. Like 300, that adds up so much. But he's going for a raw of his own. And like I said, this one gives him the minus 40 weakness. So this could come in handy because it might be used on either his next raw or if he just goes for like a spectral blast or something so the minus 40 is gonna get used on his next draw but nah there's no way that he can win this blush taking this damage from the raw cheat every single round it's just too much damage he's just dead and then he just didn't hit the next round either so now i am gonna die to this raw so we are gonna see if like the battle ends or if it doesn't because i've never tested this out but Belosh is just going for another spectral blast 550 and it hits storm there's no way. There's literally no chance. Yeah, he dies to two more raws, and he's just not doing anything this round either. But the battle didn't end, so that is true. But Belosh is obviously dead now, so Belok wins this one, but he did have his cheats, and Belosh did get him below 50%, I think. So now Belok is up one against Belosh. And now we're gonna do Belok versus Belosh, but Belosh does have his cheats. So Belosh should definitely win this one, but first I do have to kill the minions, obviously. So I killed all of the minions now, and I did build up a couple of pips. So I'm gonna use Belok and then use the Soothe on Belosh. But like I said, you can see he does still use his raw cheat, but it doesn't do anywhere near as much as Belok's raw cheat. This one only does like 600 to 700, like I said, and it only does more than last time because I don't have the balance set this gear on because like we saw last time i can just die and it doesn't really affect the game so if i die i die it doesn't really matter but now i am going to use the soothe on belosh but this will actually be interesting to see how much the raw does to belok because his was doing a lot more to belosh than this one probably does yeah only 127 so the cheat for this fight doesn't really affect it as much as the last fight getting an extra 100 damage is obviously helpful but it's not as major as like the 300 damage last time but now Belok is going for like i think it was an 8 pip judgment or something i didn't see exactly but only 160 because Belosh has 80 resist i'm pretty sure to balance and now Belosh is going for a spectral blast that hits ice though and no crit so only 365 but that still is better than like any balance hit he can do but now Belosh is actually going for a raw that's not like his um it's not his cheat one it's just an actual raw that he used pips on so it should give the minus 40 i think right it's only 100 damage, but yeah, it does give the minus 40. And if I'm being honest, I feel like this is going to end up the same way. The person with the cheats is just going to win because that extra damage every single round that the person doesn't hit or like the minion doesn't hit is just like way too much to handle. So I'm just going to skip to the end unless something interesting happens in between. Okay, finally, bro, I've been here for at least 20 minutes. It takes so long, even when one of them have cheats, but okay, Belosh won this by a lot you can see his health bar it's at like 5k or something and Belok, he's just dead so obviously the one with cheats is gonna win that i expected that i just wanted to see if there would be an upset but now i'm gonna take pork out of my monster dome and i'm gonna put in i guess Belok. wait what why is pork still there i swear i just switched it up it, wait, please wait i'm so confused what's wrong did it change yeah block is in there i i have no idea what's happening please can you just be changed he's still there I'm gonna leave my house and now i'm gonna go back in and now if i go in the monster dome please game 
Okay, blocks there. We're good. So now we're gonna do this to where both of them don't have cheats. I'm full on expecting this match to take like over 30 minutes because the other ones took 20 minutes and that's when one of them had cheats. So if they just keep using a bunch of bounce hits against each other, it's gonna take forever. But to be honest, I have my money on Balok. Even though he does have less health than Balosh, he can use elemental shields and Balosh can't. So that'll help him a lot. But I am gonna spawn in Balosh now and then use the Soothe the next round. So the Soothe is going on Balok right now and I think Balosh is going for a Spectral Blast, right? Yeah, he is and he gets the crit. And it hits fire. That does 700. That's starting off really nice. Wait, what? Wait, wait. I do not remember Balosh being able to use um, shields. Wait, did I miss something? I swear Balosh just never shielded in either of the other fights. Maybe I'm blind, but you know what? Who cares? So if Balosh can use like elemental shields, then I definitely feel like Balosh is going to win. He has way more health. So like... There's no reason why he shouldn't. But Balok is going for a Hydra, no crit, so 230 per head. And that is 690, which isn't bad. But Balosh is going for the raw. This is going to do like nothing. But at least it gives him the minus 40. Yeah, only 80 damage. That's really not that great. And then Balok just takes it off with a judgment. And it just does 24. To be honest, what I'm thinking is I'm just going to show when they use an elemental hit. Because all of these bounce hits are just going to do nothing to each other. So just whenever they use Spectral Blast or Hydra pretty much. Yo, wait, wait, wait. I did not know they could even trap. Where did that come from? What? Bro, they've been going through all of these matches. They've never buffed themselves apart from like a balance blade. And then all of a sudden they're just using fucking like elemental traps and shit. I am so confused. And Balok is actually going for a Hydra using his elemental traps. That's 373 per head. That's over a thousand damage. And their health is actually pretty close now. And now Balosh is going for a spectral blast with a blade. But look at how many fucking elemental shields Balok has. So many already. So I'm definitely definitely not gonna make you guys sit through this entire fight but holy shit when i tell you this is the longest thing the most boring thing ever it's literally the worst fight but it's actually pretty close it's pretty much who gets the next hit off but i want you to see how many fucking shields block used look at that look at that look how many fucking shields he used i saw the ice one was up at like nine at some point and that means balosh was taking them off like a bunch he literally just spams shields and not even to mention the fucking spirit ones that don't mean anything but still he just spams them and then you can see balosh he used a couple of shields but like definitely nowhere near as much as balok and now he's gonna waste his pips on a sandstorm that just isn't gonna kill even with the crit and the blade it still only does 100 and he still has like 70 health left balosh is going for his natural attack which only has to do 70 damage i think does it it does 80, so I think he's dead. He is. Bro, I literally lost connection right as that fight ended, so I'm so happy it ended when it did, or else the fight would have actually never finished. But this was 100% the most boring match. I'm never putting two of the same schools up against each other again. Well, I'm not gonna say never, but this was so boring. I'm not letting you guys watch this entire thing. You guys would be bored as hell. But I'm surprised how close it was at the end. Balok actually ended up losing. So Balosh is actually the better cousin. That definitely surprised me because of how much Balok actually went for shields. But you guys might be able to tell from my voice. I'm kind of over it now. 40 minutes of watching them do fucking balance hits. Barely doing like any of the elemental hits. It's just crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. That really helps out my channel. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.